I'm Marissa from beautifullyorganized.com and today I'm going to share some tips with you that will help you enjoy cleaning a little more. Cleaning is something we all have to do and none of us really like it, but there are a few little things that you can do to make it a little more enjoyable. So I thought I'd share with you the things that we do in our house to make cleaning more enjoyable, just in case they can help you too. So the first thing I like to do is keep myself distracted while I'm cleaning and that usually means listening to a playlist, a podcast, or even a YouTube video. I like to have something in my ears that distracts me from the task that I'm doing because then the time goes faster and I'm so into what I'm listening to that I don't actually mind doing the cleaning that I'm doing. It almost becomes soothing and rhythmic and so much more enjoyable. So yeah, tip number one, make sure you're listening to something. If you can get those AirPods that go in your ears where you're not physically attached to your iPhone or your, <laughs> I was about to say Walkman, but we don't, we haven't had them in years. So anyway, um, yeah, if you can have wireless um, earbuds, earpo earpo earbuds, AirPods, whatever they're called. If you have wireless ones in your ears, you have a little bit of freedom too. You don't have to carry your phone with you while you're listening. Um, but really, I mean, if you've got a pocket, that'll work just as well. If you don't have pockets in your clothes, you can stick an apron on that has a pocket in it and just carry your phone with you. But yeah, if you're listening to something, it kind of distracts you from the fact that you're doing a job that you don't enjoy and you kind of get into it even more. My next tip is to make sure you get really motivated before you start to clean. Now this is going to sound really crazy, but hopefully you've come across this before. YouTube has a trend at the moment called clean with me. And it's basically videos where you watch somebody else clean their house and they're so motivating. <laughs> They all, you, but you really do, you just watch somebody clean their house, but they do a voiceover telling you what they're doing and they have relaxing music or motivating music playing in the background and it is golden. We have a couple of those videos on this channel, so if you wanna check it out, go ahead. But yeah, Clean With Me videos are amazing. They get you motivated to clean because you're watching somebody else do it and then you kind of just get in the mood to do it yourself. Before Clean With Me videos on YouTube, I used to watch Hoarders. That would get me motivated to declutter. Do they still make that show? My next tip is just to make it a challenge. Set your phone timer for 15 minutes, pick a spot to clean, and challenge yourself to do it before your timer goes off. And then, yeah, give yourself a prize. Like, what's your favorite show, or have your favorite treat, or do something really fun as a reward for making it to the end of your challenge. <laughs> My next step is to make cleaning even easier. So most people think, okay, when I'm cleaning the house, I have to clean the whole house. And that job is really overwhelming. One of the things that we do in my less mess, less stress and more calm online program is we do the four step clean and we just do one room a day because honestly, you don't have to deep clean your whole house all the time. Especially if you have young kids, it's going to get messy. It's going to get dusty from them running in and out. You know, they're going to leave stuff everywhere. You can't have a perfect house 24 seven and feel chilled and relaxed at the same time and actually, you know, fully enjoy your life. Or at least I can't. So we do one room a day. If you have a house with 14 rooms, you'll need to do two, two rooms a day, but most of us don't have a house with that many rooms. So you can do one room a day or pick the two smallest rooms and do them on the same day if you've got eight rooms in the house. But basically, yeah, you do one room a day and you do four steps. Step number one, rubbish out. Step number two, put things away. Step number three, wipe your surfaces top to bottom or dust them if you don't want to wipe them, just dust them with a feather duster um, and then just spray and wipe the ones that really need it. And number four, did I just, sorry about that. And then number four is to take care of the floors. So that's vacuum or sweep or mop. That's it, that's all you have to do. And if you do them in that order, it works even better because you've already dusted all the dust onto the ground and then the sweeping and mopping and vacuuming, whichever one you choose, is the last thing you do. So that makes it super easy. Um, this also works really, really well if you have babies or toddlers and you can't get time to clean because you can do those four steps over the course of the day and just spend five, 10 minutes max on each step. I don't even think it would take 10 minutes. Baby for the spraying and wiping. Probably not though. So yeah, you first thing in the morning, right after everybody's had breakfast, you pick, go into that room and you pick up all the rubbish and you chuck it out. Or you empty the bins, whatever, you know, take care of the rubbish. And then after lunch, when the baby goes down for a nap or the kids are playing happily because their tummies are full, so that seems to be the golden time when they will play and you get to do something, that's when you go back into that room and you put things away. Then, you know, in the afternoon while everyone's having afternoon tea, oh, all of my productive time seemed to go around when people are eating. But anyway, 
people have finished afternoon tea, they're off, they're gonna read a book or chill or watch a show or something, that's when you go in and you do your dusting or your spraying and wiping of your surfaces. And remember, start high. So do like the high points, corners of the roof and then like windowsills and then spray and wipe your counters. And yeah, you go top to bottom so the dust can settle down. Um, and then at the very end of the day, say right after dinner or right before dinner or right before everybody's, you know, going to start getting ready for bed, that's when you go in and you take care of the floor, do your vacuum or your mop or your sweep. And then that's it. So you don't even have to commit a whole, a whole hour at a time to this. You can just do five or ten minute blocks throughout the day. And it's only four of them. And you're only doing one room a day. Easy. My next tip is to make it nicer to do the cleaning. So you can get yourself a little cleaning caddy with some nice spray and wipe solution and a really cute little cloth and maybe some cute rubber gloves. Um, just everything you need. So you can just pick it up and carry it to the room that you're deep cleaning that day. Um, that makes it a lot nicer. You could wear a cute apron if you want to. I love aprons. I know they're really old fashioned, um, but I really love them and they keep my clothes cleaner, which actually means less washing in the long run. But yeah, nicer. You can get a really good quality feather duster that doesn't just move dust around but actually collects the dust. Yeah, there's really good ones at Bunnings at the moment that work really, really well. Um, they cost around $20 but totally worth it because it makes the experience a little bit better so you're more likely to want to do it. Treat yourself to a high quality vacuum cleaner so it's not heavy and you don't have to lug it around the house. You can just pick it up, it's cordless and you quickly do the vacuum at the end of the day. You don't have to get it out of a cupboard that's two flights of stairs away. Make sure it's somewhere handy. Just make it nicer, nicer to do that job. My next tip is to really think about the easier time of day to clean. So I always like to start cleaning as early as possible. Like not crazy early. I'm not getting up at the crack of dawn to do cleaning. But I'll clean more in the morning than the afternoon because in the morning I'm a little bit more motivated because I'm already up and getting the kids ready for school and I drop them off and I come home and I think, okay, before I relax, that's when I'll just do step one of the room or something like that. Or if you're going to work full time out of the house, you could do maybe steps one and two of that room clean before you leave and then you come back in the afternoon, you do steps three and four then. Or you can clean as you go. So while you're cooking dinner, you fill the sink with hot soapy water, you make sure that your dish racks are empty and you wash dishes as, as you do your cleaning. So the when is really, really important. It can make the cleaning experience easier, which makes you more likely to want to do it. Sorry about my dogs barking. Someone's going for a walk by the sound of it. My next tip is to change your mindset around cleaning. So instead of thinking, ah, oh, I hate cleaning, teach yourself to instead replace that sentence mentally with, I love relaxing in a tidy space. I know it sounds cheesy, but it works so well. So don't talk about how much you hate cleaning. Talk about how much you enjoy living in your clean and tidy space. And say it out loud too when the kids are around you because maybe that will kind of like sink into their mindset as well. My next tip is to reward yourself. Wine and chocolate work for me, but you can't really do wine at the start of the day. So there are other options. You can reward yourself with um, some chill time. You can reward yourself with a Netflix show. You can reward yourself by ordering dinner in instead of cooking it yourself. You know, just pick something that you like and do it as a reward because you work hard and you deserve it. And my last tip, which is my absolute favorite out of everything, is to outsource the stuff that you really, really hate. So you don't have to outsource everything, but you know what? If you have the income and the capability to do it, get somebody in to clean for you. You're helping somebody else with their income and you're helping provide a job, but you're also giving yourself a chance to actually chill out and relax yourself. So you can get someone in to clean for you. You don't have to get them to clean the whole house if you don't want to or if you can't afford to. You can just get someone in to do your floors and windows once a month. You could get someone in to just clean your bathroom if that's the room you hate the most. You could have somebody come in and only clean your oven. In our local area, there's a couple of um, small businesses that have a van designed especially for oven cleaning and they come in and they pull your oven apart and they give it a really good clean. I've got that on my once a year wish list so that I don't have to deep clean my own oven ever again. It's surprisingly affordable and it's a huge job and you don't feel guilty every time you cook in your oven after that. Um, yeah, so outsource just, it can be little things or it can be a lot of things, whatever you're comfy with, but pick something that you hate and see if you can outsource it. It could be the car, getting the car 
cars washed by the kids down the road. It, it doesn't have to be huge, but it makes a really, really big difference if you can outsource something that you hate. I hope you found those tips helpful. If you did, hit the like button and make sure you subscribe and I will see you in the next video.